Meghan Markle and Prince Harry announced on Monday they are expecting a baby, but did the news cause Princess Eugenie to disappear from her own wedding? Meghan Markle is pregnant with her first child, an official announcement from Kensington Palace on Monday declared. The full statement read, Their Royal Highnesses the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are very pleased to announce that the Duchess is expecting a baby in the spring of 2019. Their Royal Highnesses have appreciated all of the support they have received from people around the world since their wedding in May and are delighted to be able to share this happy news with the public. Meghan and Harry married in a lavish ceremony in May and have wasted no time in starting a family. Despite the official announcement coming on Monday, October 15, rumors have been rife the pair announced their pregnancy to family members on Friday at Princess Eugenie's wedding. But a source close to the family says most of the family actually knew about the pregnancy before the wedding. The Queen and Prince Philip, Prince Charles and the Duchess of Cornwall, and Eugenie and Jack had all been told the happy news before Eugenie's big day. And as they hadn't seen them in person yet, they were only able to congratulate them on the wedding day. But U.S. gossip website Radar Online has claimed a source said the announcement tangered Eugenie. And because of this, Princess Eugenie made herself absent from the wedding for a while. The insider claimed, Eugenie disappeared for a while after Harry and Meghan told the royal family the news. Any bride would have had their nose put out of joint by something like that. This comes as the Daily Star also reports Eugenie was upset by the news saying the Queen's granddaughter was left on the brink of tears due to feeling as though her wedding had been overshadowed. However, another Seuss told the Daily Mirror Eugenie and Jack were thrilled for them both when told about Meghan's pregnancy. The Mirror stated a royal aide insisted of the timing of the announcement, Harry and Meghan would never dream of stealing Eugenie and Jack's thunder. The senior palace source added. Everyone is hugely excited about the news. The whole family are very happy they were all able to congratulate the couple in person before they left for their first major overseas tour. Meghan and Harry are currently in Australia on their first major royal tour since marrying in May. The trip will see them spend time in New Zealand, Fiji and Tonga after Australia. Meghan Markle, 37, and Prince Harry, 33, have announced the Duchess is pregnant. The news was announced on Monday. What were the body language clues and signs the couple were expecting? Meghan Markle and Prince Harry will soon have another member of their royal family, as the couple announced they are expecting a baby. The news broke on Monday morning, and Kensington Palace wrote on Twitter. Their Royal Highnesses the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are very pleased to announce that the Duchess of Sussex is expecting a baby in the spring of 2019. The couple's child will have Kate Middleton and Prince William's children Prince George, 5, Princess Charlotte, 3, and Prince Louis, born in April, as cousins. Many had suspected the pregnancy in the past weeks, but now an expert has revealed the telltale signs Meghan was expecting. Body language expert Judy James told Express.co.uk the body language clues we all missed. She claimed the best clues could be seen on September 20, when Meghan was launching a project. She said, the most comprehensive clues that Meghan might be pregnant came when she was launching the Grenfell cookbook. The Duchess's mother came into town, and she, Meghan and Harry attended the launch together. Judy said, firstly there was her mother Doria arriving from the U.S. to temporarily take Harry's place at her daughter's side as mothers tend to do when there's a first baby on the way, looking proud and protective and leaving a rather bashful-looking Harry following along behind. Meghan put an arm over her stomach, a move Judy said was rather revealing. She said, then there was the way that Meghan performed a very telling gesture as she walked from the car, placing an arm across her stomach area in a reflective act of protection and masking. She was clearly keen to keep the pregnancy a secret but this body language giveaway showed where her real focus was at the time. Her doting husband Prince Harry also gave off some body language signals that a baby was on the way. Judy said, interestingly, Harry used the same gestural tell. As he walked behind his wife his hand also performed an act of subliminal mimicry, 
rising to his waistband in an act of empathetic thinking that many new fathers will use. The way they interacted with one another was also a big sign, Judy explained. Harry and Meghan's touch rituals had also changed dramatically recently, she said. Their PDAs and tie signs had usually involved Meghan touching Harry's back or patting or stroking his arm to suggest reassurance, affection and steering. Suddenly though it was Harry doing all the protective touches, placing a hand on his wife's back or an arm around her waist in rituals of loving concern. Fashion fans may have noticed Meghan's wardrobe changing, which Judy also pointed out. She said, Meghan's clothing style changed too, from the sleeker figure-hugging fashions or the chic masculine tailoring complete with wide, tight statement belts to tops with frills or peplums to cover her stomach or that beautiful coat she wore to Eugenie's wedding with the lower buttons left undone for comfort. Meghan Markle's baby bump was on show in a green dress. Prince Harry has spoken out for the first time since news broke of Meghan Markle's pregnancy. The Duke of Sussex thanked the Governor General and Lady Cosgrove at Admiralty House for their hospitality at an afternoon reception, before speaking about Meghan's pregnancy. Good day, Your Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, he began. It is obviously great to be back in Australia and even more so because this is my wife's first visit here, so I am very excited to show her this wonderful country of yours. Australia is of course home to some of the world's best sporting talent, but what you are about to see at these Invictus Games will, quite literally, astound you. During the speech, he spoke of his love for the country, and said he was thrilled he and Meghan got to share their pregnancy news while in Australia. He added, a demonstration of the power of the human spirit, the power of sport to change lives and the power of feeling part of all of this from the stands. There really is something for everyone. Thank you Your Excellency and Lady Cosgrove for giving us your magnificent home for the week. We are inviting all of our mates in Sydney. Finally, we are both absolutely delighted to be here. We are really impressed to see you serving beer and tea at an afternoon reception in true Aussie style. We couldn't think of a better place to announce the upcoming baby. Yesterday, Kensington Palace officially confirmed that the Duchess of Sussex was expecting. Their Royal Highnesses the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are very pleased to announce that the Duchess of Sussex is expecting a baby in the spring of 2019, they shared on Twitter. The news came after it was revealed that Meghan gave her first major sit-down interview since joining the royal family. Previously. New Idea learned that the palace was talking in riddles without stating the obvious before the royal tour to Australia and New Zealand before she was given the three-month all clear. Meghan Markle may have told Princess Anne the exciting news that she is pregnant at Princess Eugenie's wedding in this touching moment. The Duchess of Sussex and Princess Anne sat next to each other in St. George's Chapel and they appeared to be having a warm and friendly chat before the ceremony started. However, now that Meghan, 37, and Prince Harry, 34, have announced they are expecting their first child it seems there is more to this conversation than just small talk. In one moment, Princess Anne looks down at Meghan's stomach as her coat was unbuttoned. Then in another moment the Queen's daughter makes gestures with her hands. Meghan copies the hand gestures as the pair giggle. It is unclear what they were talking about but it was speculated that the conversation was more telling after today's baby announcement. Charlie Proctor, the editor-in-chief of Royal Central, tweeted the video and said, I didn't want to say anything at the time because I know how annoying the rumor mill is, but Meghan's conversation with Princess Anne suddenly makes a lot more sense now. And looking at her stomach, the hand movements etc. Hashtag Royal Baby. One Twitter user responded speculating the hand gestures were referencing how big Zara Tindall was when she was pregnant. They said, no wonder the Princess Royal looked at Meghan so warmly, and I wonder if it was Zara or Peter that was that big. Another user said it makes sense now that Princess Anne was looking at Meghan's stomach. They added, that's also why her coat was open. Royal fans had wildly speculated that the Duchess's outfit on Friday was a major hint she was pregnant. She looked stunning in a Givenchy dress, 
finished with a hat by Noel Stewart and Pippa Small jewelry but also wore a loose fitting and long navy coat. The covered up look is in complete contrast from sleek dresses she has been pictured wearing at a number of events recently. Royal fans flocked to Twitter and speculated that Meghan might be expecting her first child with Harry. One tweeted, Something about Meghan's outfit choice makes me think she's pregnant and hiding a baby bump. It's so conservative. Another wrote, I have a feeling Meghan is pregnant. She's glowing and her face looks fuller to me. Can't wait for them to announce it. One tweet read, Meghan Markle is definitely pregnant. My psychic intuition does not lie and that long coat is rather suspicious. Kensington Palace had remained tight-lipped on growing speculation that Meghan is pregnant until now. <laughs>